We are gonna take a look today and give a five minute review to the ASUS software that potentially could come with your motherboard. I am the Grain Tech, a gaming insider, and if you would like to learn how to improve your gaming performance, start now by clicking that subscribe button. So when I look at ASUS's software lineup here, I see lots of pros. So let's start off with what might be the most important bit of software available, and that is the ASUS Armory. This software is necessary in order to modify and adjust the lights. ASUS also uses this to update your system, to provide updates for your BIOS, to provide updates for your drivers, to make it easier to install all of the other software that you might want from ASUS. And from that standpoint, it actually does a pretty good job. I found the lighting effects, I found the use of those lighting effects to actually be pretty good. ASUS Aurora Creator is also available, which can be used to create your own lighting effects. Basically, over a period of time, what do you want to change? What do you want to keep the same? From that standpoint, yes, this is valuable software and it does exactly what it says it is supposed to do. Taking a look at the AI suite, I did find a lot of potentially good, useful information, good controls that you could find on the BIOS, or if you are the type of person that likes to be able to access this directly in Windows, it's there as well. Having that level of choice, having that level of flexibility, I think is very important. And I applaud ASUS for making sure that that is actually present here. The other thing about the AI suite that I wanna call out is its ability to do kind of one click overclocking. I found this tool to be actually very useful when it came to just dialing in some basic overclocking into the system, making sure that my fans were properly set, making sure that the overclock was properly tested, that all of the variables were there, and it implemented it directly into the BIOS so that you didn't have to use the software every single time. <sighs> and now we have to get into the territory that actually brings this recommendation down, the cons. Starting off, I like Overwolf. I've shot videos about Overwolf. I plan on shooting some in the future, but I always want choice when it comes to installing. Installing the AI Suite 3 installs Overwolf by default. Now this is kind of a bare bones, barely there version of it, but it's still there. And that makes me concerned about potential privacy and data implications. If you weren't forthcoming about installing Overwolf, are you being forthcoming about any type of data tracking that you are actually going to be doing? Another con here is the BIOS updates. They're more than a year old. And if you have seen anything with AMD as of late, you know they are adding new features that require additional hooks in the BIOS. So to get the most out of Precision Boost Overdrive, you have to have an updated BIOS and ASUS is showing you BIOSes that are more than a year old. Fan curves themselves are not aggressive enough. I frequently found that when I was running my Cinebench scores, if I allowed the natural turbo boost to actually follow the curve that it wanted to, the software was dramatically not keeping pace with the increase in temperature. So I had to significantly steepen that curve in order to stay ahead of the temperature changes that were occurring. Lastly, there's ads, lots of them. There's ads for WinRAR. There's ads for Chrome, for crying out loud. There's ads for other ASUS products, which I get. A lot of manufacturers do that. But Chrome and WinRAR? Really? So ultimately, my recommendation here is skip most of this software. It's not necessary for your overall experience. While the AI suite is nice and can give you a quick benchmark or a quick understanding of the capabilities of your system, it duplicates so much of the BIOS that it becomes redundant. I don't also like the fact that they've installed Overwolf in addition to the AI suite. The AI suite is so aggressive that ASUS had to put out a separate uninstaller because the original uninstaller wouldn't actually remove all of the components. So we're talking about a serious dive into your registry if you install this application. So my recommendation is don't even consider installing it in the first place. If you are interested in changing the colors of your lights on the motherboard, you pretty much have to install Armory. Now, 
if you're like me, you can probably just live with a little bit of different colors that are coming from the motherboard. I don't find it to be that intrusive considering how much other colors exist inside Project Red Star, but the fact that you could sync all of your lights together with Armory does present an interesting quandary. There is potentially an opportunity here to reduce the amount of software that's on the system if this actually worked right. But that's another con, it doesn't. You still need the IQ software, you still need L-Connect, you still need additional services installed in order to make all of this lighting effect work together. So just cut Armory out completely and if your motherboard is changing colors on its own, then so be it, you're probably not even gonna see it. So in future videos, we're actually going to dive into some of these replacement or alternative softwares that might actually improve your gaming performance. And one such application is up next, AMD's own Ryzen Master, an application that promises to give you significant performance improvements if you tune and dial it in properly. And you can check that video out right here.